see if I get any hit points back. So you, um, you guys took the wagon ride to um, Hopsmiller Castle. You used your connection um, with Rajwin uh, to let Barnabas uh, give you guys access. And when you okay. got access to the castle grounds um, inside the first two walled-in areas, not the inner part of the castle, um, it was pretty deserted. Um, you walked around almost all the way around. I think one of you did go all the way around the castle yard and didn't encounter another soul. It's eerily quiet. Oh. Um, and all of you kind of uh, used your various skills to get you up to um, a secret uh, on top of the mausoleum outside the main castle. Um, there were no doors on the outside, but uh, Lindell was able to find a hatch in the ceiling that opened up like two panes of glass to drop down into. Um, and the rest of you guys made your way kind of uh, getting thwarted by a gate for a little while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thwarted by a gate. We couldn't open yeah. a gate? No, we couldn't open it. Uh, <laughs> you had to use various skills to get over it. And, We're um, heroes! Yeah. <laughs> heroes of Seon can't open None a gate. None of you have very good athletic abilities besides... <laughs> it was, you managed to cover your tracks a little bit. Um, and it, You covered your tracks a little bit because it was disturbing the moss, the moss on the gravestones. Um, oh. But uh, I think uh, somebody used some cantrips to re re-up it. And then you uh, made your way yeah. up to the roof and dropped into the mausoleum, which there were no doors uh, or access points other than this, but there was a staircase leading down. And so all of you guys headed down the staircase and it emptied out into like kind of a long hallway dungeon. And that's what you guys are in right now. So, okay. So like we ended up having to go through the crypt anyway. Like yeah. The crypt was Okay. At the very edge of your light, you might be able to see a little bit of the uh, the mausoleum. If you move the torch over there and up the stairs, you'll see what the mausoleum looked like. Over here? Oh. Other direction. Oh. Yeah, through that gate that you guys unlocked and up oh, the stairs. Oh, that's the gate. And that's the stairs that lead to the mausoleum I up, gotcha. up to the top there. Okay. So this is where we came from. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I just kind of threw this together really quick. I did not actually get any of the rest of it. So um, I'll kind of guide you guys through using that torch. Um, but there's going to be some drawing. At least I've got boundaries, so you can kind of imagine it. But um, for Seda or anybody else that needs those details, we can just draw them on the map. Otherwise, I'll just describe what you guys see wherever you go. So inside this uh, long hallway, um, there was a platform up a set of stairs with a ladder leading up to a hatch. And uh, I believe it was Xavier figured out that it has some kind of uh, abjuration magic on it. Oh, and yeah. then there are three jail cells and a little grate on the side of the staircase leading up. Um, rats attacked when someone disturbed something with a mage hand. And you guys killed, I think, three or four swarms of rats, or another one scurried back up the stairs. Um, mm. And then you explored each of those jail cells. And um, two of them had skeletons hanging to the walls, like in shackles, um, that were long dead. Uh, one of them, upon investigation, it looked like there were some pock marks in the bones, which okay. was very strange. Um, and then in the other one, um, Someone tapped the bones and they fell on the ground and they sounded uh, fake. And upon inspection, you guys realize these are fake bones. And behind them, there's a loose stone. And that's kind of where we left off. What, what does pock marks in bones mean? Like they're circular marks? Um, have you ever seen pictures of like bones with osteoporosis that's like way late stage? I or can Google it. It's all like <laughs> it's syphilis too. Yeah. Yeah. Like porous, like a sponge. Mm, like, like coral. Coral. That looks Fun terrible. Fact, my yeah. province here in Canada is having a rise on syphilis again. Oh, oh. oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, syphilis in an already in a pandemic. It's yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a little cake. icing on the cake. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Some okay. painful swelling. 
Uh, I think. Yes, the, the boils yeah. on the cake. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta look up syphilis bones. <laughs> it's mostly the skull. Yeah. Holy smokes, it is! Shit. And, and uh, Seda, you as a necromancer would know this. You would know. Yeah. You've seen tons of bones. You know what? Uh, you know. Do I think? Do I think it's syphilis? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and roll a medicine check, and we'll see where you get. It. We've got some syphilis. Oh, you know what? Medicine or religion, because as part of your religion, you would know a little bit about. Oh, if it's a religion, it's a dirty, dirty twenty on religion. Dirty twenty, very nice. Um, no, it does not look like disease. It looks like okay. something else. Maybe something inorganic ate away. Ah, oh, inorganic. Uh, can I take some bones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you get... Uh... Who's going to start casually pocketing bones? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll an investigation check for me. <laughs> Do any uh, of the bones look inhuman to me? Like perhaps uh, a centaur bone? No. Damn. No. Based on that roll, you're pretty uh, confident this was a person. Okay. And whoever is the head of uh, the Hopsmiller Castle uh, may have had it out for this person. Is there a skull? Yeah. Uh, well, wait a minute. What, what's your total? 17. 17. Yes. There is a skull. Um, there is also a part of a pelvis and a pretty good femur. And this Ooh. is the fake set, right? This is the ones that are not bone. No, no. They're looking at the other. They. Oh, I guess you guys doubled back to look at the pop mark. 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 I'm looking for spell components. Skull is, uh, yeah, we're going to. Unless you want it, you. Well, I don't know. It doesn't have syphilis. Xavier, roll a <laughs> perception check. <laughs> it doesn't have syphilis. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh, Xavier, this dungeon is so pretty. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who's that ghost with a shield? There's a ghost with a shield. Oh, yeah, there's a. Who is that? I oh, got... that's Genevieve. I don't have a token for Genevieve. Oh, oh 21. Lindell <laughs> <laughs> came in after I started doing them in uh, isometric. Mm. What did you, uh, what'd you get, Kit? Sorry. Uh, 21. 21. Very nice. Okay. Um, you notice there is a little bit of an oily residue in some of the pockmarked areas, especially the deeper ones, um, towards the inside of some of the cavities in the pelvis um, near the bone marrow center of uh, the femur, um, etc. Um, you can, you know, try and harvest it if you want. If there's enough of it, yeah, I'd like to try and fill one of my empty bottles with it. I'll use a mage hand sure. to kind of help scoop it out or get it out of small holes if Yeah, no, possible. that's fine. Um, okay, I would say go ahead and add yourself uh, two samples of... Um, bone goo. Maybe a acidic <laughs> bone goo, yeah. <laughs> Why would they have fake bones down here? Maybe they're a decoy or something. Decoy? Uh, Decoration? Uh, maybe you can you take a look at the fake bones. Like maybe is there is there like an extra one or one that's maybe doesn't quite fit with the set? You know what I mean? Like maybe he they've got like a male jaw and like a female pelvis or something weird like that. Yeah, can I inspect the bone? Oh sorry. What do you want to Does inspect? that lead us to believe that maybe there is something to being down here? And maybe this is where she decided to hide something of importance? I mean, it seems like right. there's enough things to throw someone off of the track or enough weirdness that maybe something is hidden down here. Do you guys ever have a house mm -hmm. where you put a key and a fake rock next to the back door? Because we did yeah. that in Auburg all the time. So let's see yeah. if there's anything in these fake bones. That's what I'm wondering. Like, perhaps, <laughs> I mean, they could just be a, a decoy for whatever's behind, like, whatever was that stone is about. I'm, I don't want to touch it. I'm just concerned about, you know, it's if just, something's going like, to in my face or something, you know. But. It's just so easy to get real bones. So, like, if you, you can just walk out to any graveyard and get real bones, why make fake bones? I want to inspect the fake bones to see if they are. 
a key or if there's any writing or hatch marks or anything on them. Uh, can I help her? Yeah, what yeah. are you going to help with? Like, what kind of expertise um, or tools? Well, I'm, or... Gonna be, I'm, a, I'm a cleric. I've definitely seen plenty of injuries in Sub 1 that, like, are down to the bone type of injuries. Like, people falling off of buildings or whatever. Okay. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to help and be like, I think this one is, like, and just helping to compare them. Okay, yeah. just using some medical knowledge from your past. Yeah, m m from living, medical, if anything. living in the in the the depths. Mm -hmm. Can I use so Arcana like, I, though, since I'm a necromancer? Oh, sorry. What exactly <laughs> are you trying to discover using Arcana? I want to see if. Um, okay, so they're fake bones. First off, doesn't make any sense to me. You can they find they sound anywhere. fake. Yes, they f they sound and feel. It's like a so texture. So I want to see if they're hollow. Maybe I'll try to snap one in half. I want to see if there's anything. I just want to inspect these bones. That's all. Okay, go ahead and roll in a Karna check, and I will allow you to do it with advantage. Woo! Woo! Well, dang my. Okay, nineteen plus eight. Twenty-seven. Uh, twenty-seven. From your knowledge of uh, monsters that lurk in the deep, the dark, the jungles of Spiralia, um, you would know that there are some creatures. Um, some are legendary. Others have been um, discovered but told about secondhand, um, either because those people were injured in the process or, you know, it, it's kind of hard to tell if it's true or not, maybe a tall tale, um, about creatures that are able to petrify their victims. And this strikes you as maybe these bones oh. have been petrified by something. Oh. These, they're not fake. They're, what? ooh, what, what do I know? Yeah. What petrifies people? What's that? <laughs> That would be a little out of your expertise, you, Abernell, Um, but Xavier Wait, might be able to yeah. assist. Hey. I, like bet you spirit I bet you bet spirit noggers. What would you like? You know, had the exact same thought. Oh my gosh, we're like so in sync right now. <laughs> what? What can I roll for that, David? What? You, what, what petrifies? <laughs> well, it depends on what you want to try and gain from use. Um, realization well, that these bones look petrified. What kind of monsters might be lurking in the underground that would have that sort of power? Um, um, I know. Of I believe you have a head. book in your possession, do you not? Oh. Uh, oh. Or did you... Somehow you gained a bunch of information on spirit nagas. Yes, spirit I do. I think I have a specific book on as Xavier says, he's like, oh, I'm thinking about this. Lindell reaches out and casts guidance on him because she really wants to know this Aww. answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know shit about any monsters that aren't underwater <laughs> monsters? But she's like, it's the spare naga. I, I call it. I don't know anything about the <laughs> Okay. So do you just want to know if this effect was caused by a spirit naga or is it in yeah. their realm of abilities to do so yeah because that would be very telling again <laughs> okay yeah go ahead and roll a nature check with advantage and add a d4 for guidance nature and i'm giving you advantage because of the book you picked up on monsters i think it was from lafayette not because ah. Sakin's spirit naga spirit naga spirit naga <laughs> Ooh. Sufkin's contribution adds nothing. Nothing to the dice. Not report. fantastic. How, how, what was the total? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I roll? I just want to roll a d4. Oh, you want to add a d4 to it? Just roll it manually. Okay. Yeah. Or I. d4. Oh. What Oh, you did it. And I got a one. Oh, shit. So I got a total of, I got a total of 13. 13. Um, 13 is not bad. That's more than the average person knows. Um, without sitting and reading through your book to try and find the answer, if you wanted to take 10 minutes, you could. The best you can remember <laughs> is that Spirit Nagas, uh, they do have some domination abilities that might include um, something like petrifying. 
their uh, victims. Um, or maybe they have some way of doing it with like their egg sac goo. You can't really remember. Um, but they can definitely we, we a, like charm people and, and do I have, make people do things against their will. Do I still have a sample from when we were chained up in the um, basement? There were a bunch of samples of stuff that I never identified, but I thought may have had something to do with the Naga. I'm going right. to compare my samples to what I just pulled out of the bones. Um, find the specific sample. Do you have some notes on it? <laughs> because <laughs> I'm kind of drawing a blank. This was probably a hundred <laughs> ingredients ago. Uh, so there was a, like a, I think a cauldron or something sitting in the middle of the dungeon oh, room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, some of the you would beer. remember that this was made of a concoction of genie blood and and some other ingredients. Uh, okay, you know it was genie blood. Yeah, I don't know if I knew. I don't remember. Oh, that. they've been hurting. They've been hurting yeah. for turtle. Because that, <laughs> that means four teller was being used. Okay, now yeah. you know this, Xavier, but you have not told anyone else yet. Okay. 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 Oh. Mm-hmm. So Xavier Xavier knew this, but uh, Kit didn't realize that that was genie blood. And (laughs) would I know that blood is going to give a link to whatever creature it's from? Could that be used to hone in on him? Possibly. (gasps) You're not really sure. Ah, just you could could ask Lindell. She would know. (laughs) Yeah. So are you going to divulge this information to the rest of the group? Yeah, Xavier's going to pull out the two vials and kind of look at them and be like, "Mm," you know, realizing it's not what he's thinking. But he holds up the other vial and he's going to say offhandedly, I think some of this may have been genie blood from Foreteller. Could anyone use that as a conduit in a location spell? Maybe to kind of you know, charge up or amplify their our locating of him. Um, first question: what, what are those vials of? What is that? Um, it, it's whatever stew that they had down in the uh, the basement when we fought the spirit naga. That oh, when like, they had us that, that bubbling green pit that was there when we woke up. Yeah, yeah, yeah the big vat that was like right above the. Uh, the water supply. Ew, oh, does God. that mean I stuck my hand into genie blood? That's disgusting. Didn't you drink some of it, Safdie? <laughs> it did some acid damage oh. to you, I thought. Oh my yeah. gosh. You drank I genie. Think I, drank I think I stuck my <laughs> hand into it. You feel yeah. more floaty than usual lately. Or perhaps mm-hmm. do you feel like you could grant wishes or anything? You know, just checking. No. <laughs> Yeah, after you drank it, surprisingly, you Aww. had no effects afterward. Yeah, because I think she did drink it. it. Yeah, she did. She did drink it. That was <laughs> I had her. I had her roll. I think two concentration <laughs> or constitution checks to yeah, see either. if anything happened, and she passed both. So to Safkeen, there was no effect. Oh. No. Okay. Well, there might be some changes in the next little bit if you suddenly want like a treasure hoard. Or you're really fond of lamps or something like that. You just let me know, and we'll we'll check on it. Um, but uh, okay. <laughs> David, to go back to your previous question, um, as far as I'm I'm aware, I Spriggan and I talk quite often, um, and I don't know if it would enhance a, a locate ability a, a, a spell expressly, but it would definitely help if we were trying to scry on him. Hmm. Well, if we could scry on him, wouldn't that that surely that's going to give us more information? I mean, if if we knew, I don't know what his connection to all this is, but if we knew where he was or what he's doing, it might be helpful. Although he's super magical, and he does this thing where he like messes with my magic sometimes. So I I don't know. Hmm. Really, if we can talk to him or at least know where he is, then we could ask him about where his secret is. Did did we come in through here, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
And the other gates are all unlocked. The only thing that's not unlocked is the hatch at the top of the ladder. Mm -hmm. Seth, if we want to here? talk to him, I could just always... You can move the message. torch around if you need to. But yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. Hey there. Pumpkin carving. Oh, good. My pumpkin looks really weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quality. Good. Yeah. Pumpkins should look weird. My, my, mine has three eyes and a circle mouth that has spikes. <laughs> That's awesome. <Ooh. laughs> Very good. Have you guys already I'm put so candles in them? No, not yet. Not. We'll do it tonight. Does he have ears yet? No. Yeah, you Kit, didn't you tell him about putting ears on jack-o'-lanterns? It's a tradition. No, but we should. <laughs> <laughs> you you make it. Um, <laughs> on your probably on ear. Do you have you real ears the lying around? <laughs> Sorry. The lanterns, the you can confirm or deny. <laughs> Kid, you might need to have a conversation with your son about uh, not, you know, hurting each other's ears. Right. We need to have a conversation about not divulging certain information in public. <laughs> Wait, guys. Where's Vinny? <laughs> oh my God, where's Vinny? Got to have the right conversation. Twice. <laughs> no. No. What did you do with Mary and Vinny? <laughs> Here, you can have my. They're the jack o' lanterns. <laughs> I have those now. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Now oh, back to the lighthearted dungeon. <laughs> so, Genie Black. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Genie blood, yes. So Xavier, do you still have that book? Do you think? Do you? Do, could, are we safe enough? Could you have some time to like really look in and confirm or not if this could have been a spirit naga? Uh sure. I mean, if if you think we're safe, sure. It's uh, just you might you take know, a minute. Anything... Read your book. I yep, he's it. gonna pull, pull out the book. You, All Seth, right. What do you think? Should we just spend a little time here just to be sure? Or... You, Asaf King, what do you guys think? Should we just, yeah. is that worth the time? Or? Well, I, have you guys already tried to open this hatch? Have we tried? The no. magical one no. or the non-magical one? Oh, is there a non-magical one? Is there a magical one? I can't open magical well, things. There, there was one, one, one exit has a magical like barrier or something on it, and one and another exit had no no barrings, magically at least. Wait, oh, wait, where's where's that? I I thought there was only where we came in and then this hatch. Yep, that's yeah. correct. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, okay. were, I thought there were two exits. Nope. So wait. There's okay. back the way you came, or through the hatch, you or you could investigate that loose stone. Yeah, I was oh. about to say the loose stone may have something behind it, but we don't know. So, do these stairs uh, lead up? They to lead this up to a landing on a different. Uh, I mean, okay. yeah, I there is a sewer grate, but it's only big enough for a rat to go through. In my mm -hmm. imagination, there was like either stairs or like. Uh, anyways, oh. sorry, I understand now. Thank you. Well, yep, worse safe in here i think so while while if xavier's gonna look in his book and stuff i would go inspect and see about this magic seal oh okay. and oh you you're really good at looking at the finer details of things too maybe if you could help me um look at this this weird brick stone thing and see if it's trapped or something or if there's magic on it or anything like that i can look for traps i'm good with thief stuff now <laughs> okay all right okay. Uh, yeah you can go ahead and look for traps with advantage if lindell is helping or vice versa um okay kit you take the time to sit and read from your book uh genevieve kind of snuggles up close to you and you guys read together like she's reading you a children's book right. and uh starts right. to read to you from the spirit naga page oh. all right uh okay. so spirit nagas are a large monstrosity 
chaotic evil. Uh, they have an armor class of uh, 15. They have about 75 hit points. Um, they're a little <laughs> bit faster than you and I, 40 feet uh, per round. Um, they are uh, immune to poison, of course, because they're snakes. Um, and they can't be charmed or poisoned. Uh, they can see in dark pretty far. Um, and they can hear things really easily, uh, I guess, with their tongues. They speak abyssal and common. Um, let's see, they're spellcasters, um, pretty high level spellcasters, uh, 10th level. Um, their, their bites hurt a lot if uh, you're not very strong. Um, but if you aren't like, you know, susceptible to poison, maybe you don't take as much. Um, because they're spirits, when they die, they come back to life after a certain amount of time. Um, and they can uh, do illusion spells like Mage Hand and uh, Minor Illusion and Ray of Frost. Um, they can charm people, see magic. Uh, they can put you to sleep. Um, they can even cast like Lightning Bolts and Dimension Door. Um, and dominate person. That's a pretty big one. Um, but it doesn't look like they can petrify people. Huh, okay. All right, I'm going to relay I, this information that I don't think they can petrify. Is there, any, they are is there anything else in your book? If you want to take a little bit more time, you can search through kind of the abundance of creatures in the book. See if you find a petrifier. Um, I rolled a 19 to check for traps. A 19. It does not appear to be trapped. Good, Looks good, Lindell. Give it a pull. <laughs> <laughs> you always just steps back anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it kind of makes a scraping sound against the mortar underneath, and <laughs> you slide it to the side, and it gets stuck. <laughs> you slide it to the other side, kind of w wiggling it out of its hole. Once you get it out, you look inside. Um, it's pretty dark, but in the faint light from Yu's cup, as she lifts it <laughs> towards the hole, uh, starts to illuminate what looks like a um, a metal... P, uh, like a, a a long thin piece of metal that's been braced to the wall, but it's kind of loose inside with a metal ring hanging off of it, almost like a knocker on a door. And the uh, metal piece that's like bracketed to the wall extends behind the stone wall. Oh my okay. gosh! Is this a secret lever? It, it, is it a, is it a secret lever? Hey everybody, come look at this secret lover. Okay, Somebody's gotta be able to identify. <laughs> so Keen's just been like sitting on the floor, like waiting. Doesn't really like death might need... stuff. Go on, investigate Stop the shit. This is a great <laughs> Listen, we might need your biceps to come move the secret lever. Get over here with those biceps, Soft Keen. It looks rusted. <laughs> Soft Keen will get up and wander over and peer it. Lever. Uh, it it just it? looks like a, a hatch of some sort. Oh, like a hatch? Uh, well, oh, like so a lever that opens a hatch. A locking mechanism of some sort. Should we pull it? Um, okay. I'm you know what's going on. I'm gonna, you want I'm reading my book. Okay, you stop reading your book. So in the time that you flipped through, uh, roll me an investigation check. Just straight investigation. Okay. This seems like we use soft to like you know how you use a man to open jars in 1960s movies. <laughs> like soft can't come pull this lever. Soft We're so weak. Soft can't open the door. Soft can't. <laughs> oh, can you reach it? <laughs> yeah, it, you didn't come across any creatures um, in that amount of time in the book. Um, there's quite a bit more to go through. You just didn't have enough time. Mm, okay. But I'm going to put right. the book away and yep. take a defensive posture. I'm going to pull up my shield and sure. get ready for uh, whatever uh, horror may come bubbling out of the wall. I would say at a later time, you could take an hour to find what you can find in the book. 
Okay. All right. Um, or shorter amounts of time with a, a roll of, uh, you know, decreasing the more time you take, decreasing difficulty. Um, okay. So you guys, uh, South Keen's going to pull the lever. Yeah. Well, she'll look at you questioningly like, do you want me to pull this lever? Everyone yes, will take absolutely. two big steps back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'll take uh, two steps back, uh, and Safkeen <laughs> pulls the lever, and it just slides over maybe a few inches, and then um, she's kind of like bracing herself against this weird, like you know, dungeon wall shackled fake bones thing, um, and. <laughs> It begins to glide, almost like the wall isn't touching the floor. It just kind of wobbles ah. back and forth. Oh my god! What's going on? You're moving. Uh, What's happening? Um, can I keep like? Have I pushed the lever in completely? Uh, it actually slid to the side, almost, almost like um, it was removing something. Can I push the wall? Like you push I on it, and it it pushes against something hard, but then it kind of bounces back toward you. Oh. Isn't there something behind it? Is what? there a pull need... door instead of a push, maybe? You guys can see <laughs> that the outline in the mortar of some of the blocks is gone. It's missing. Where you didn't notice that it was missing before. Almost like the seam of a door. But it's not opening in. So can we pull it? Pull it! You pull on the lever, and the whole wall <gasps> begins to slide Ooh. away from the uh, the back of it. Um, it drags against the floor, moving some of the uh, the earth beneath it, um, and opening mm -hmm. about maybe three feet from the wall. And a rush of air blows behind your backs, blowing down this corridor, dark. Ooh. I'll soccer kick my light down the hall like I do. <laughs> uh, you kind of have to like reach around to throw it, you know, around this wall. Um, but you toss it down in there. Uh, it goes tink, 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 and lands and illuminates kind of a um, what just looks like a, a carved cave um, uh, tunnel uh, that leads down into the darkness. But it looks so worked. Did you like grab like back everyone and then just sort of be like, jerk her head towards the, the entryway and then sort of wander in. Uh, yeah, you enter in to the, uh, that dark area and see the cup illuminating just a, a small cavern um, that leads off into the darkness. Do you guys want to head this way? You, did you say it was a worked cavern? What do you mean worked? What do you mean worked? Does it look natural or does it look like somebody carved it? Does it look like... Uh, it was intentional. It's not natural. Okay. Not okay, so we have two options. Either one, go down the super awesome secret door tunnel, or two, grow up some hatch that's warded and trying to like prevent us from going in. What do you guys think? Uh... <laughs> I mean, Jeff's already like, taken a few steps into I'll glance back and be like, My cup's already in there. I gotta go. My cup's yeah, down the hall. You gotta get your cup back. That's true. Okay, everyone. Yeah, let's go. yeah we're already in. <laughs> All right. So you head down the tunnel, grabbing your cup. Looking uh, for traps as we go. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, do you guys want to be vigilant. stealthy? Yes. yes. Okay. You do want to be okay. stealthy. So everybody Hold roll up. stealth check. Oh, oh, who needs, stealth. Wait, wait, wait. Who needs, who wants advantage on the stealth check? I already rolled. That's Maybe right. Genevieve. I don't know. Uh, I got a plus. Yeah, I've got plus three. And Xavier's got plus what? Four. Okay, I'll give Safkeen, especially because she seems to be in the lead anyway, so I'll give Safkeen blessings of the yeah. sister, so you have advantage on your stealth checks. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. And I guess I'll roll for Genevieve. You rolled a natural one. That's why I said it's not uh, fair. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 two and a three. Oh, that's pretty bad, too. Uh, I get a plus two, though, so I have a three. Genevieve gets 
plus three. I'm too excited to pick up my cup. I'm too excited to get down the hall. Oh no, Genevieve rolled a natural one also. <laughs> three and a two. We trip over each other. You guys are so loud, so noisy going down this tunnel. <laughs> Um, but you are diligent excited. enough to look for traps, but it's a <laughs> yeah, slow, it's grueling, and noisy process. Okay. Uh, yep. I got a 19, if that helps. 19, except for soft key for some reason. <laughs> Graceful <laughs> gliding like, from like, stone, stone, stone to stone, not like, disturbing like, anything. Like, the rest of you guys are like, will the beast. <laughs> Genevieve crash. We crash into each other. Genevieve, the floor. And you come. The natural crash. Yeah, so, you to me. Me. Can, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, can Xavier not be making any noise at all except that he's talking really loud through the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, guys, I looked in my book. <laughs> yeah, you, you like you take the book and you slam it, and like dust goes up, and everybody's like, <laughs> perfectly silent down the hall. <laughs> oh yeah, not making a sound on the ground. All right, so you guys head down for about uh, sixty feet, and it begins to curve off to the right. Um, and as you go, I want you to roll a an investigation check for traps. Me. Me? Uh, Lindell, I think, was the one leading the charge, oh. but you already rolled, so oh advantage. Cool. Yeah, can I, can I, can I assist? I know she's better at the fine detail than I am. Like I've looked for. You can before, roll but separately if you'd like. I can I just give her advantage? Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> with it, with advantage, I have a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear that there are any traps in your way um, as you make your way down this kind of corkscrew uh, cavern that leads down at a, an increasing angle as you go. Um, it feels like you're just walking around in circles. Oh. I know we're not in, in combat, but are we in any sort of marching order? Is Soft Keen in the front? Yeah, That's a Soft good Keen's thing to know. Maybe so Soft Keen's in the okay. front. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You guys are being so noisy. I don't... <laughs> you're I tripping over each other. Life, Some are going in front of others. I feel like I'll, Soft Keen uh, is definitely in front. I'll stay, yeah. I'll stay right behind Soft Keen because okay. I can kind of go medium or long range if I need to. Yeah, and that's why we're so um, loud. I would say, because go ahead and line up. in the back. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're in the back. In the back. In the back. <laughs> in the back. Yeah, you guys are so. You guys are great. No traps. We're fine. We're good. So like like this so far. Uh, go ahead and put yourself in order of of the marching order. Where? Just on the screen? Um, I, I moved you guys already. Soft Keen in front, right. Xavier behind. Yeah. Oh. After you. Okay, I would... Okay, oh, yeah, that I'm was there. a good what pun. Genevieve? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's Genevieve in the back. I'll, I'll go in back, that's fine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, so you make your way around this corkscrew <laughs> tunnel. You wants to hold <laughs> Chill Touch, though. Because it's 120 feet. I just want okay, yeah. She's uh, she's got her dagger out. We're 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 investigating, but I'm just holding that in case something pops out. Jump scare. You've been walking down this now for a few <laughs> minutes, so like every six seconds you have to keep re upping it and after a while oh, it gets shoot. really annoying. You wanna just keep doing Whatever. it? It's a it's a cantrip. I don't care. <laughs> it's like every six seconds you see you doing a hand gesture again, um uh, <sighs> keeping her uh, chill touch up. And uh you guys eventually come to a um, a wall, or what looks like a wall at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's very smooth and flat, and you don't see a handle. Hmm. Can I pat it? Yeah, you pat on it. It is hard stone of some sort. It uh, feels like marble or granite. It is completely flat. Completely flat. Um, I guess we need to investigate it. Go okay. up. Want to do a little so bit let me, of... Let me help you. I'm, I'm holding up my light. I'll give you guidance at the same guidance. time. Okay, so D4, roll with advantage. Okay. And then a plus a D4. My D4s, here we go. Um, 15 plus uh, 10. 25. 
25. Um, there is nothing on the surface of the stone. Um, it is sealed to the wall of the cavern, but the cavern has been also kind of carved to meet it perfectly. Um, but down below, near the ground, you do see a little bit okay. of the dusty surface of the ground blowing around. <gasps> There's a little bit of air. There's air coming through. Oh. This must move Where? somehow. There's air coming through the cavern. Xavier, you Look for it another magical at all. Uh, I'll use Eldritch Sight. Uh, you use your Eldritch Sight. You do not see anything magical. Canical, no, then. No, I don't see any, uh, anything on it. Uh, search it. Try pulling it instead of pushing it. <laughs> There's nothing really to grab on to pull it. Mm. Oh, push it, <laughs> I guess. What about sliding it? Yeah, can we try? Okay. Yeah, who who wants to try? Uh. Biceps. I mean, soft cane. <laughs> soft cane? <laughs> oh, no, we need a big, strong triton to help us with this door. Oh, soft cane, we can't open this door. <laughs> open this door. <laughs> <laughs> Pawing at it. Try it. You won't try it. Can I like, investigate to see if there are like any kind of handhold or anything for me to grip onto? Uh yeah, you uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check on your own if you'd like. Um, no good But you would just be doing a face palm right now, like I just spent all that time investigating it, and now Safkeen's doing it again. Does she not trust me? I, I like watching her look for things. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering eyes of you up and now. I mean, after I that scene that up in the sunken city. Come I mean, come on, there's, come on, there's, there's sparks. <laughs> no, she ignored me for the new girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not ignoring if you have not made your intentions clear, you all but know. Oh. Are we having this conversation yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, it sounds like it. it sounds out like it. <laughs> out of character. It sounds like we have triggered a memory. <laughs> wow. So King got 12 on her. A twelve. You don't find anything. Um, you, you've given it your your second over, and um, you're you're questioning whether or not you could have trusted you after all. But regardless, you don't find any <laughs> handhold or anything. Um, are there any? It's just a wall. There's no writing. We don't see any symbol symbology. No it's wall. just a rock wall. Just a rock. Well, it's very smooth, not porous stone, not rough. So it's hewn. Yeah, it was definitely like masterfully cut. Does yeah, anyone have like a crowbar or something we could like oh, lever okay. into there to try to move it? I do have a crowbar. I have two, I have two crowbars. For some reason, out of my what? backpack, I, pull a crowbar well, I would say you could hand a crowbar to somebody else and you could use one of your own and try to pry it. Crowbar. Here, so Sofkin, try this crowbar with your biceps. Try this. I'll give her two crowbars. <laughs> two crowbars. <laughs> So she's just gonna <laughs> both hands. <laughs> if she's willing to do this, I will give her guidance as she does it. Okay, go ahead and roll a strength check and add a d4 for guidance. Okay. As you wedge one crowbar in each side of the opening and push to pry it apart. <laughs> Twenty three plus yeah. guidance. D four, yeah. Yeah. One. Twenty four. Twenty four. You wind up getting back like a runner, getting ready to take off, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> 
oh, you just force it forward. But mm-hmm. unfortunately, this thing is on such slippery rollers that you just push off. It jettisons out almost like it's on a track and you fly behind it, skidding against the ground behind it and curling up as you smash back into this wall as it stops maybe about six feet away from the opening. And you can see it opens up into a larger room. This, this wall was actually formed out of a, uh, like an open above ground um, tomb with a lid on it and the back side of it is the wall that you guys were facing so you just had to push it along these uh these minecart rollers and it rolled forward and hit a stop um and now you're crumpled up underneath it between the two railroad tracks and uh okay i'm sorry too much crowbar power through the kind of mist and dust that was kicked up by this loud banging noise um you can see you are inside some kind of a crypt or mausoleum with many gravestones oh. many above ground uh, tributes uh to what look like very opulently rich um important people um i'll just say that um some of the tops of these like caskets and tombs are actually carved to look like the visage of the person um and you can see various uh, very lifelike uh, uh, renditions of the recently or uh, long time ago um, departed uh, folks that are buried here. Um, the whole still- room, it looks like it's it's hewn out of this very um, well-crafted and polished marble um, on all of these, these headstones, tombstones, um, and above-ground casket-like uh, um, homage- homages to these people. I'm gonna reach out to one of the like above above ground caskets and and transfer my lights. Oh, sorry, Safkeen. Sorry, Safkeen. Oh, you guys are talking at the same time. Okay, uh, so Safkeen first. She's up. Yeah, Safkeen get up. Like, I don't. You're asking. Middle of the game. I'll help. I'll help her stand up. (laughs) Yeah, you get back up and you dust yourself off. Um, That was really cool. It looked really, it was, was really amazing. That was great. Yeah. I definitely the did not like it. clanked down onto the, the track um, as she kind of cur- carved forward against them. <laughs> I'll pick them up. I got to stir like, those oh, up. Until then, they'll look at like the mausoleum and just grow to be like, more death. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to reach out onto whatever the closest like big casket is and transfer my light spell onto that to just illuminate the whole cavern. Right. Off of my All cup. right. Um, so, hang on just a second. This might be important. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm just. Doing um, this. And this is a light spell, you say? <laughs> yeah, my my light cantrip. I was just gonna transfer it from my cup to like a larger object to light up the whole room. Um, when you do so, um, your cup flickers out, and you are left in total darkness. Oh. The magic failed. My yeah. my hmm. magic failed. Yes. Is Kumo uh, still alive? And now you guys shoulder? are in complete darkness. What about Ku- wait? Kumo's alive. Oh, Kumo still, still, still lit up on my shoulder. Okay, yeah, Kumo's still lit up on your shoulder. You just see Yu's light go out as she goes and touches um, the casket of uh, what looks like it's a it's a woman's uh, visage that's carved into the uh, the top. That's not supposed to. Can I try again? Yeah, you try again. Um, you reach out and t- touch a different casket or the same one. Hmm. The different, different one. one. Okay. Uh, there's another one that's a uh, you know a, an older male with uh, facial hair, and you touch that one. Same thing. No light. And now you're kind of okay. drifting away from uh, the bright light edge of uh, of Kumo. Uh, no, I'd scoot yeah. back real fast. I can't cast spells. I can't. Um, okay, just a minute okay. here, and she uh, Lindell will pull out of her backpack. She's got one of her extra fairy lanterns that she made, like the one that she gave for Safkeen. Yeah, and she'll give it to you. Uh, it's. Sorry, did you see the picture of the fairy lanterns that she made? No, I don't. Yeah, I, I think I did. So it's like like a hand. Are they in messenger? It's like uh, I'll post it again. But it's like a little hand lantern with glass sides. It looks like quite old, 
but inside, <laughs> instead of where a wick would be, is a small copper shape of two fairies holding hands mid-flight, Aww. just like Lindell's symbol. And uh, yeah. there's there's a bright uh, green flame that seems to be enveloping this copper wick, um, but there's no heat. It's not hot at all, um, but it sheds plenty of light. So I'll, I'll post a link to that here. Okay, I'm going to step back and take that from Lindell, but I want to whisper to everyone, I can't cast spells. I'm going to... Can anyone else try? Yeah. I'm going to yeah, cast uh, a cantrip, my druid um, craft, to just create like little wisps of light at my fingertips and see what happens. Just see okay. if I can do uh, it. Yeah, you, you reach out your hand um, and you see that your fingertips begin to grow, you know, like they normally do when you would um, expel a little bit of uh, magical energy and they grow and stop and nothing comes out. Huh. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Safkin will slip on her goggles. <laughs> okay, you slip on your goggles of night and you can see. You know how dark vision, so you can see um, in kind of a gray scale um, the entire area, and it looks at like, like uh, kind of through this uh, this kind of tomb structure or, or makeshift underground graveyard um, for the the rich and famous. Um, you can see there is an exit um, in the wall that uh, has a very nice kind of uh, uh, post and lintel structure um, with a, a carved cave uh, mm. tunnel that leads out. I'm going to strike up my Lantern of Revealing. Good call, good call. Okay, uh, yeah, you strike up the Lantern of Revealing. Uh, Let's see here. I want to whisper, still whispering. Is this this the same thing they used in the Thieves Market? The, The... That kept Genevieve from casting spells? That was a powder, right? Is there powder on the ground? Um, Residuum? Xavier, Xavier, your light from the Lantern of Revealing um, sheds a bright light in a 30-foot radius and then an extra 30 feet. The whole space is now illuminated, um, and the gravestones kind of cast very uh, deep shadows on the walls around as you move it. Um, They kind of move with you. Can I tell if it's working? Can I? I'm gonna try and use my Eldritch Sight. Is there any magic at all going on in here? Uh, let's see. Hang on, just a second. Well, maybe because if not, I'd like magic. some samples of dirt and uh, possibly some of the stones. Maybe a headstone chunk. Eldritch Sight. <laughs> um, Eldritch Sight is. Essentially, it's just the tech magic. I can just right. do it. Right. I'm, I'm trying to read on how it's activated. I think it, the way it's worded, it lets you cast the tech magic at will. It does not work. It does not work. Oh. It doesn't work. Um, it lets you cast a tech magic at a f- first level, I think. Okay. Uh, detect magic at will. Yeah, first level. <gasps> okay. Yeah, it does not work. Xavier, you wrong? full body shutters. This is no good. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. this. Uh, I don't seem to be able to use any of my invocations either. Whisper, uh, whisper. <laughs> yeah, there's there's will... quite a heavy echo coming from every noise you guys make. I'm freaked the fuck out. <laughs> Xavier, you can once you activate your Eldritch Sight, you can stay concentrating on it, right? Yes. Would you? Why don't you try walking back in the hallway, seeing if you can activate oh. it, and then walk into the room while it's active? Would Would that work? Do you yeah. think? Maybe I will try. He's gonna walk back out of the hall. You walk back out of the hall behind you, into the cavern. Yeah. Where okay. Came from and, and then activate his eldritch sight again. Okay. Yeah, your eldritch sight goes up, um, and looking around you, you don't detect any magic. Okay, um, but it's working. What happens? Here. What happens as he walks into the room? It goes down as soon as you cross oh. the threshold. Oh. 
Not good. What's causing it? It's very odd. Like any kind of subterranean mausoleum you that you've ever been in, um, mm. they usually kind of utilize the, the, the cave wall um, to kind of carve out their, their space. They usually don't line the entire thing in marble. But the entirety of this room is made of marble. Um, like we're, in a, like we're in a casket? Wait, 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 wait. If you were going to hide a really, really Ooh. powerful artifact, where would you put it? Oh, Somewhere my... it wouldn't read magic or you wouldn't be able to scry in on it or you wouldn't be able to like detect it in any way, shape, or form. So, Mark. good chance. Okay. Around. But is it, I mean, is this residuum? What is this, though? What's called? I mean, I would have. What before before we before Xavier got the residuum, would you have ever heard of anything like that, like a magic blocking substance or element? Roll a history or? check with disadvantage. Disadvantage. <laughs> you lived out in the woods, you. I know. <laughs> history. <laughs> David, could it be an alchemical yeah. process? Do I know? Could it be worked into the the marble or something? Uh, that's a fair theory, but uh, from your expertise, you wouldn't know. Okay. You got a nine. <laughs> uh, you got a nine? Yeah, you've never heard of anything like this. I want to try okay, the close. Oh. oh, sorry. Um, so Lindell... Lindell doesn't know a whole lot about magic, but working with her dad, she knows that her her magic comes from a different source than the kind of magic that Xavier and you use. Yeah. So Lindell's going to uh, ask Safkin, can you just watch my eyes and tell me if they change at all? And she's going to try to use Thaumaturgy to change her eyes to a, a, the same color as Safkin's hair. All right, Thaumaturgy. I um, want to be like, hmm? It's a cantrip. Yeah, hang on just a second. I need to read real quick. Not the easiest spell to spell. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, it fails as well. You do not see any effect, Safkeen. No, yours are exactly the same. Oh, so my magic's affected too. While we're in here, Safkin has her fists, and I have I have my dagger. Does everyone else have something to defend themselves with that isn't magic, just in case? Oh, I don't know. I'm... Xavier's going to try to produce his sword. Can I even do that? Uh, it's kept in an extra. extra I will place. tell you in just a moment. I have a fancy crossbow. I stole. <laughs> oh, okay. um, have that loaded and ready just in case. Do you, do you, yeah. The, no, the bolt goes the other way. No, the pointy end. No, goes I out. can. You, I'm proficient <laughs> in this. I think. I is am proficient in this. Dang it, Xavier. Is it an action yeah. to produce your packed weapon? I also have a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> two, two crowbars. I just see create packed weapon. I have to use the bathroom real fast. So create is you summoning it, right? Because it's a uh, an action. As, it says as an action, you can create a packed weapon in your hand. You choose the form. You're proficient with it. It still counts as magical. You can transform a magical weapon oh, here it into says, your pack. Yeah, it's a packed boon. Uh, create packed weapon. It's one action to do it. Um, and at third level, your otherworldly patron bestows a gift upon you for your loyal service. And then it says you gain one of the features of your choice. So if you keep going further down. I think it says something like uh, to you can dismiss it as a bonus action or something like that, and you can resummon it as an action. I think or right. something. Yeah. Um, but create the act of creating it is a third level ability. N no, it's it's a third level as in like character level. The act of creating it is just an gotcha. action. It doesn't require a spell slot yeah. or anything like that. It's just like me taking the dodge action kind of thing. It that technically it is comes a magical out. thing, but okay. Yeah. So then it is produce. You produce. You do produce your weapon. Um, oh, thank goodness. What is your weapon? <laughs> it's the short weapon? sword. 
it's the short sword of banishment that he That's developed right. that it became this kind of wooden sword that comes out of his arm when and it when is also it. illuminated with the uh the same kind of magic you're used to it illuminating okay so like a little bit of a greenish glow to it is it, it it's out okay. and it's active okay hmm. oh here i've got an idea um I'm going to just since Xavier is doing the testing, Lindell's going to try to give Xavier blessings of the trickster, and just see if it feels like it takes hold. <laughs> you guys are really putting the pressure on me, Jesus. Uh, let's. So, uh, but what about if trickster, I do this? What about if I do something like it's, this? It's not. It's not a spell. It's not. It's not a cantrip or a spell slot. It's I just, just imagine Xavier I and Lindell going back. Can you feel it when I do this and poking each other? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you feel it when I do this? Poke. If I, no. if I my eyes and <laughs> no. What about when I do this? No. What about this magic item? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, my poke is still working. Hold still. <laughs> Blessing of the trickster. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I just put it in uh, roll 20. Uh, yeah, it works. Okay, I can feel it take effect. Okay, that means I could probably use my channel divinity. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, no, no. No, it does. Okay, sorry. The features and traits are different. So yes, it does work. Okay. So my thoughts is as long as it's not a spell per se, a magical ability will still work. What does everyone else think? I think mm. I think that you're absolutely right that somebody would hide something in here. We need a certain hiding place. Actually, this is a question for all the spellcasters. Does anyone have the ability to banish? I, yes. Well, it, it depends. Can is my sword will do a banishment? Can I? You said my not, sword not is the functioning sword. as a spellcaster. Yeah, I have banishment. Mm -hmm. I have it. And, I have it equipped. And Lindell does also. Mm -hmm. I think Genevieve might too. All of you guys would have like in unison to Xavier say. Banishment is a really fucking high level spell. That's why your sword is working. Uh, huh? mm. oh. So it's only it's only keeping us from casting low level spells. Maybe something more powerful can overcome the anti magic. Well, what level can you guys cast locate object at? What's the highest level you guys can cast? I can cast locate creature at fourth level. I mean, I think technically I, we can we can upcast locate object to any spell slot that's available, but I'm pretty tapped out at the moment. Hmm. So, yeah, go ahead. So if if this is maybe a permanent spell is it possible that it is like an anti-magic sphere and it's only stopping spells of a certain level or lower and do any of the Genevieve other spells stops you mid-track and says what about that stuff in um at the you know with edmund that that place we were held it had that stuff on the floor it didn't let me yeah. You, yeah it didn't let me get let you out of the cell when i tried to you know, make a, a a doorway for us to walk through. It wouldn't work. You can I see your um uh, crowbar for a second? Well, but uh, Genevieve, Genevieve, <laughs> management and dimension door are the same level, aren't they? Uh yeah, I think they're on the same level. Hmm. Ah, but you couldn't cast it. I mean, different components and such, but similar. Hmm. While um while Xavier and Lindell were poking each other with spells, <laughs> I think that you just would have kind of the the, 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 the original R risen um, everyone buried there and <laughs> right, taken the over the entire casket, castle. And <laughs> the original casket that um she tried to cast light on, or it's not a casket; yeah. it's a vault. Yeah, um, the vault, yeah. the vault with the woman on it. Yeah, is is it the kind with like a slide off top? Yes. There is a seam. Um, it looks like that lid is really fucking heavy. But yeah, there's a seam. Stop. 
Soft game. <laughs> come, come help me open this. And I gave I gave one crowbar to Xavier, but we got the other crowbar. Will Zofkeen help me try to slide the lid off of that thing? I don't know. Will she? <laughs> he will wander over. And While they're doing right. that, Xavier strength check with advantage. Hitting the wall, hitting the floor, wherever he can get. Are you trying? You're trying to chip off chunks of it. Um, yeah. I will say, uh, yeah. uh, boy, roll me a strength check, and then Safkeen <laughs> to move with use help is with advantage. Strength check. Woo! Natural twenty. Oh yeah, Woo! you guys. You easily scoot it over and leave maybe a foot gap um, as it skids yes. to the side. It smells oh, awful so. inside as a little bit of the stale air kind of hits your nostrils and you back up, except for you, she kind of just stays in place. Yeah. But I can't see anything. Safkin, can you see? Yes, Is you just can. a body in there? You, you've got the in, lantern. In oh, the yeah. light of the lantern. Oh, yeah. I've got the green lantern. Yeah. yeah. In the light of the green there. lantern, you can see there is some very fine cloth that is wrapping um, what looks like a shoulder. Hmm. I'm going to call out in there. Four teller, are you in here? <laughs> <laughs> Can stuff no, no reply. No reply. Uh, <laughs> Safkin? Can Safkin reach in and tug at the cloth? Uh, yeah, you reach in and tug at the cloth, and a little bit of dust plumes up, and you cough again. <laughs> um, but it does slightly move, and you hear bones clack together. Safkin, will you help me with that one over there? I want to go to the one that has the carving of the guy with a beard. Uh, yeah, the carving. You want to go and open all of these uh, caskets? Hang on, just all four teller could be in here. Four teller could be no, in one of these. What if, they're, if they're lead lead lined? Lined. What if the hookah somewhere if, in here? Oh, yeah, the hookah. Yeah, if if they're yeah. lead lined, we can't locate object into them. They could have lead on the inside. Or just okay. whatever's happening I think with the, this room. And plus, you love grave robbing. I remember our very first crypt together. <laughs> we opened every I casket, think, remember? I think you it have was only a, three problems. It was only a month uh, ago, but it feels like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I remember our first that crypt. Was like, like three weeks ago, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it was only three weeks ago. It feels like years. But <laughs> let's. <laughs> I'll let you find any cool stuff you find, or let you keep, because I remember I kind of shamed you in our first crypt, like, I don't grave rob, I'm a keeper of the dead, but you can take anything you want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know your intention. Don't take the cursed things. Yeah, don't take cursed things. I want to start, I just want to start opening everything with soft team. Anyone shall help me open. Okay, you and guys want to take some time? That Lindell wants to take like a just a really good casing the joint of the room, like just looking around. She'll try her spider slippers, like walking on the walls and the ceiling, and just looking around and taking a really good okay picture of what's um, going on in the room. I will say, Safkeen, with advantage, take a series of three <laughs> strength checks. Um, okay. This will be kind of pass fail, but depending on how many you get, it'll. It'll change what happens. Um, and Lindell, I want you to roll an investigation check, also with advantage, because not only do you have the lantern, um, but you have uh, Safkeen and you popping open all of the <laughs> caskets. Um, so okay. investigation with advantage and three <laughs> strength checks. Encourage <laughs> All right, so go ahead and do your first strength check, Safkeen. How'd you do on your investigation, Lindell? You're lucky. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> like literally a skeleton hanging off the crowbar. I'm so thin. Like I'm helping. I'm helping. Okay. So what is your first strength check? <laughs> Natural twenty. Yeah, the second <laughs> casket with the dude with the beard on it. You slide it open. You go over to another one that has kind of a nondescript lid. You slide that one open. Um, Lindell yeah. kind of you know peeks in when the lantern goes over the top, see if there's a glint of anything. Um, it looks like uh, these people are buried with. Um, they're not warriors. 
they are craftspeople. They are farmers. Um, oh. th this is a long lineage of people that make wine and beer and mead, um, honey, um, glass blowers, ceramicists, that kind of thing. So rather than being buried with weapons and armor, they're buried with their tools. Um, so some of them look like very nice handcrafted, um, like a honey dipper and a, a sickle. And, um, uh, you know, one guy's uh, uh, buried with uh, clay pots that look very nice and ornate, um, painted really nice colors. Um, but rather than finding um, anything that you think is of use magically, you just find tools. Hmm. Hmm. Go ahead and roll your st second strength check. Out to like, is any of this useful? 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 All right, second, second check. Tools are always useful. And you's just calling out to Foreteller. Foreteller, are you in this one? Foreteller. All right, so now you're kind of hitting the middle of the room, whereas you kind of went to the left first, um, and now you're kind of coming around. Um, so in the middle of the room, you start cracking open caskets wherever you can. Go ahead and roll your strength check. And Lindell, another investigation. 23. Very nice. You pop the lids off of all the others. There's even a few um, like stone uh, bowls with lids on them that you manage to you know shift to the side enough to look inside and reach inside. All right, investigation. Four. Any centaur bones? Fourteen. <laughs> um, no, you don't find any centaur bones. Um, most of these people are high elves. Um, in fact. Um, Genevieve kind of comments on it that all of the skulls and the iconography, it's all high elf. Um, so this is definitely a family lineage that was concerned with race um, and preserving uh, their family lineage. Um, I got a 19 guys, for my investigation. 19, okay. Uh, We're doing well. We're rolling well. One yeah, minute. I have plus zero on my investigation, guys. So Excellent. <laughs> You find a uh, hookah wrap. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no, I was, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. DM. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's not ending. Uh, I'm trying to find my list of what you actually do find. Hang on just a moment. I have a list. Lindell, I told Soft Keen she could have any of the spoils from inside any tomb she cracked. I know. I'm just looking for anything shiny. Just yeah. give me a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, here, hold this femur. <laughs> okay. All right. You find a pouch with 500 gold pieces inside. Ooh. Uh, it also has a smaller pouch with uh, 200 silver. So 500 gold, 200 silver. Okay. Um, let's see here. Should we like I'm watching Lindell to make sure she hands it to Soft Keen. Lindell. Of course, you find tools and <laughs> things of that nature. If nobody wants the tool, Xavier would like some, especially if there's like herbalist like crafting tools or like gathering tools and stuff Roll like that. Roll an investigation check for me. Well, this this will be if he gets done trying to chip away a little couple of pieces of stone, but Oh, right. How'd you do on your strength check? Uh, did I roll my strength check? I got a 13, yes. Uh, 13. You do manage to get it lodged in one place where you think you could probably chip off a little bit more or pry it off, um, but it doesn't look like much is coming loose from just striking it. Um, but now that you've got it wedged in there, you want to try and uh, pry a little piece off? Sure. All right. Go ahead and roll another strength check. Strength. I'll be right back, guys. One second. Sorry. Xavier got a two. <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, you pry and pry, but it is stuck in there so much so that you can't even pull it back out again. You. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> what did you do to my crowbar? <laughs> it's not. It's not coming back out. <laughs> no. Can I? Can you try to help <laughs> her little? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, you guys take a little bit of time and uh, like, prying at it, and prying at it, 
Yeah, and I'll come hang by it too. <laughs> we'll just roll a strength it. check. Check with advantage, one of you. <laughs> oh yeah, I get advantage. Okay. Uh huh. Who and I rolled an. Oh wait, are, who's rolling? Xavier or me? It doesn't matter. Either one. I'll let you roll. I got a plus zero. Your crow. Oh crap. Um, I have a plus zero. Bar. <laughs> Well, I rolled an eight, so we're doing good. Uh, <laughs> together, the two of you can't even right. break off a piece. <laughs> it's still lodged in there. Help or not? Soft key. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> we're just we're both just hanging off this crowbar. <laughs> Damn hell. <laughs> I think it doesn't Mage Hand also does five pounds, right? Like I'm also gonna cast Mage Hand as we're hanging there. It does an extra Ooh, five pounds of pressure. So with Soft King's help, go ahead and roll with his advantage one more time. No, he not me. me. Soft King needs to roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, roll. <laughs> Oh, Mage Hand is 10 pounds. Okay. I'm pulling on with my magic. Uh, an extra 10. <laughs> 30, 20. 30, 20. Very nice. Yeah, you crack off a piece of the marble and it tung, 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 falls to the ground. Um, upon inspection, it looks like the core of this, uh, this piece of marble is speckled with a white dust that glints yes. under the light of the lantern. I'm going to collect it. <laughs> okay, you have one sample of of um, residuum stone. Oh. Does he tell this this out I'm loud? Totally... Can he tell? Uh, yeah, he's uh, going to say, I think yeah, this sure. is uh, embedded with residuum, um, which it would be kind of cool to create maybe stone arrowheads out of and fire into mages. What? <laughs> Uh, we need more. We need more. Who has a sledgehammer um, on their you back? You can tell based, <laughs> Do we have a based on the difficulty you had getting that piece off, it is very difficult to, um, even with bludgeoning force, uh, get this stone to break. Do you think so? So whoever like, crafted punched this the rock. room must have been a master carver, carver. of stonework. Hmm. One um, sample... Also, you do find on one of the corpses inside uh, one of the tombs, there is a, um, a pendant on a necklace that is tied around the neck of the, uh, the woman that lies inside. Um, and the medallion at the end of this pendant um, is uh, kind of made out of uh, this fine silver that comes to kind of a teardrop point, and the inside is inlaid with what looks like some kind of a red gem. Ooh. It's very pretty. Can I try Does to... This? I don't know if I want this. <laughs> Can I hold on to it? It's rather pretty. <laughs> sure. So Lindell, you, you have to lift up the head of the, the the body that's laid to rest here in order to slip it off the neck. Or you can try and reach behind to see if it unties or unclasps in the back. Um, can someone help me with this? I just need someone to like hold the head or something. Or... Sure, I'll help. Thank you. So, <laughs> it's Xavier to like very gingerly and carefully lift the head up as she very gingerly and carefully kind of like slides it off. I would like each of you to roll a constitution saving throw as a there blast of powder explodes yeah. in both of your faces. Um, actually, oh, Xavier, goodness. you're fine. You don't breathe. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. Is this against poison? <laughs> I think, because I would have yes, rolled it. Yes, is, it is against poison. Okay, so she's resistant to poison and she has advantage on con saves against poison. Okay, and so she con can't save with advantage. Ones. So 23 or uh, 23. Yep, that's where we're going. All right, so you stumble backward um, holding on to this necklace pendant and 
cough wildly as you do so. Um, and uh, Xavier, you just stand in the cloud of, of dust and look around. What? What's, uh, what's, what's wrong? <laughs> 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 are you okay? Are you okay? As he holds up a little vial toward Nell's mouth. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> it's <everything>. not. <laughs> right, just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> Can I do there? Hit Lindell in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you may add to your inventory. Well, you don't know what it is. It's a pendant. It's pretty. <laughs> Exactly. Pitch necklace. Yeah, pitch necklace. Uh, yeah. Um, before we continue on, can I gather up a few of the tools that were laying around? Uh, yes. And um, how did you do on that investigation roll? I don't think I rolled it yet. Let me roll investigation. Investigation. I got a 17. 17. Okay. Uh, you come out with... One moment. I've got a list of these somewhere. Okay. You come out with a healer's kit. A set of blacksmithing tools, a set Ooh. of jeweler's tools, Ooh. and uh, I think that's it. Yep. Blacksmith's Ooh. tools, jeweler's tools, and uh, whatever the other thing was. <laughs> He's adding that to her, his array of healer's kit. supplies, tools. I've now got tinker's tools. Man, I've got all sorts of stuff. <laughs> So yeah, um, healer's kit, jeweler's tools, blacksmithing tools. Maybe you want to give a healer's tools to Lindell. Just saying. What's that? Uh, Do you, Lindell? Would you like any of these tools? No, that's okay. Uh, I got a pretty necklace. But oh, this bag of five hundred gold pieces I found that would be good for a spruce log for someone's room. Does anyone not have a, a fiery log for the room yet? I don't. Oh, we're here. Why don't you have this bag of 500 gold pieces? Yeah. Or you can keep it and buy me a log. Okay, I mean, if you want me to keep it, that's all right. I'll just put it. It's okay, okay. I, no, I imagine Softkeen's kind of like a roller coaster. Softkeen's kind of like a roller coaster where they say don't have change in your pockets when you go ride this ride <laughs> because it just flies out in every direction when she's doing cartwheels. <laughs> just hemorrhaging gold. <laughs> No, so you like to stay light on your like, Buy me a log with that, okay? Well, I, okay. I don't know where I'm going shopping next, but sure. Once we're out of here, okay. I as as Linda drags herself along. along the ground to walk because she's so weighed down. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my magical handy haversack, and all of a yes. sudden, you stand up right again, as if the weight is gone. Oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the back half of the room if you'd like to do your last strength check and investigation roll. Let's do okay. it. Help me. My crowbar. Help. Help. <laughs> Ooh. My strength checks to do it. Oh, God, I got a 23. Woo! No problem. All caskets are now opened. Um, it smells terrible in the room, um, but how'd you do on your investigation? Uh, 18. 18. You find a mysterious uh, copper rod. It looks like the rod has a button on it. Would you like to grab it? Push the button. Push the button. Yeah. Button. Okay, you reach in and grab it, and you pull it up towards your face, and uh, yeah, it just looks like a you know ornate point the lightsaber, very well crafted 
uh, metal rod that's got these caps on either end and a button. I'm going to cover my mouth mm -hmm. and hold it away from me. Mm -hmm. Everyone, I'm going to press the button. Ready? And she pressed the button. No, you what? Press, I'm going to hold you the press the up. button. <laughs> and you, you hear some gears wind up, and then out of it shoots another rod that's a little bit smaller, and another rod, and another one that telescope out to a point. Ooh. And then these little metal hoops appear, and a line appears with a hook on the end. Huh? Is it's there a hunter, fishing hunter fishing rod? It looks like a fishing pole <laughs> made of metal. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look! <laughs> Dude, I think you're That's muted. Hilarious. I'm muted. I said, you're, we're literally in the driest room in the world. What are you going to catch with that? Lindell what struggles is? to kind of hold it, spacing her arms out really high. It's 10 feet oh, yeah. long. Uh, <laughs> She's gonna uh, put an eye out. Uh, no, put it away. <laughs> press, press the button again. Press the button again. Press the button again, and the the hook retracts, and all of the telescopes go back into one little handheld tube. Um, you now have a pole of angling. The only difference is this pole of angling is actually a mechanical object that does not have a command word. You hit a button. Uh, That's so cool. Hey. Uh, Safkeen, you you spent a lot of time on the water. Do you ever? I have never been on a boat. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really intend to at this point. Uh, but do you ever go fishing? Well, you'll have to get on a boat because we're going to go to Panopticon. And yes, yeah, we'll well, deal, we'll, deal, we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, <laughs> While Lindell's have... fiddling with the pole, um, Xavier, <laughs> you and Safkeen, <laughs> you guys, um, you managed to scrounge together about. 250 gold pieces from the rest Ooh. of those caskets. Sorry, go ahead. Um, Safkin? Or someone else? Uh, someone wants to take up fishing as a hobby? Mm, I mean, if I wanted to catch a fish, I would just dive down and catch a yeah. fish. Oh. Xavier, from what you've... Um, recently learned from Lilith about this um, new school of magic, something like this would really interest you. Oh, the, the, the pole may be actually of that school of magic? Um, I mean, it's a clockwork device that seems to ha have magical properties. May I see the fishing pole? Yeah, yeah sure. Here you go. Just don't point, point it at anyone's eyes. Just here you go. Oh, no eyes. Hmm. No eyes. You know, either, if I... It's either a magical you, object or it's really well made to the point where I'm you gonna, can't tell how it works. I'm going to use my Eldritch Sight. Is it, oh, yeah. No, it wouldn't um, give off magic. You try to use your anything. Eldritch Sight and it's it doesn't yeah, work. Hmm. Um, interesting. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, it'd be interesting if instead of a hook on the end, it had like a little grabber, and then I could shoot it out, grab components, pull them back. Mm. <laughs> or, or what if you like put some kind of like grenade on the end, and then you could throw it and it could explode, and then you could uh, retrieve it? I don't know. If the radius mm. was only 10 feet, I guess. Maybe yeah. that's what, I'm not good at the tinkering things. Hmm. Mm. All right, so uh, Xavier, add one pole of angling to your inventory. Pole of angling, okay. Does it require attunement, I guess, now? I don't think it does. It is listed as utility. Is it? Is it in there? Um, yeah, it's it's an actual, like, D&D &D 5e oh. magic item. Wow. It's one I've never heard of before. It's, I think it's one of the new common ones that it was introduced with, like, Xanathar's Guide or something? Yeah. Hmm. Really? Exactly right. Very cool. Pole of angling. Pole of angling. All right. Uh, so you guys have completely explored the tomb. There are just skeletons exposed everywhere from the honored dead of whoever these people are. Now, I have a question before we leave. 
Has anyone, no. as we've been exploring, seen any signs of another secret door, loose brick, something like that? That's a good point. Um, I would say yes. Um, on the first side of the room that you guys explored, there was one other casket that looked strange, like it had rollers on the bottom, similar to the one you came into. But your investigation wasn't really high enough to figure anything else out on that first section. Yeah. Could I tell, I, I know you told me before, but is my lantern revealing actually working or is it just casting light? It is just casting light. It's just casting light. Okay, but you, uh, I mean, it's like using garlic and saying there's no vampires around. You don't really know if it's working. You're not seeing anything you think might be invisible, but who knows? Okay, fair enough. Because really, if you don't see anything that's not really there when you shine the light on it, how how do you know if how it's you know? working or not? Hmm. Okay, fair enough. So either it's not working or there's nothing invisible in here. So many biceps. Hmm. <laughs> I have no biceps. No biceps. <laughs> Am I missing messages? What are you guys doing? Biceps. What are you talking about? How, sorry, sorry. how strong. <laughs> so many biceps. It's a countable object. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of biceps. It's so true. Biceps. It is. You have one bicep, two biceps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are like 20 biceps. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, before we leave, um, I, there was this one casket back by the entrance. It, it was kind of weird. It didn't have anything shiny, but like it kind of moved a little bit. I don't know. Does anyone want to take a closer look? Well, there's, also a, there's also the, the main entrance, too. Um, so you guys came in through one secret, and it looks like there oh. might be a second, but there's just an entrance also. Or like a regular, like, real people walk in this door entrance. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it leads to another cavern, so you don't know. Oh. What Are we under the Hopsmiller estate at this point? Like, what direction did we travel? From, you traveled in and down, so whatever it is, it's pretty far beneath the surface. Maybe I don't know the size of the castle beneath the surface. Could I could I use um, any of my skills to try and figure out like what direction we may have gone in relation to what's above us? Uh, you think that you're probably underneath the moat somewhere? That went uh, around the entire yeah. estate. Okay. Maybe maybe getting close to where the cliffside is that leads down to the lake. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Uh, it's that direction. Somewhere. Maybe beneath the road that leads up to the castle. Okay. Um, well, but it's on the let's north, check north out side. This. Let's check out this cask. Okay. Um, uh, what do you want to do? Can it be moved? Yeah, you reach up and um, you tug on it a little bit. It moves very easily. It just slides out from the wall. Hmm. Hits the end. Anything of will stop. Yeah, there's another cavern behind it. Oh, that was easy. The cavern. <laughs> leads, <laughs> the the cavern How leads to. You have the cavern leads to the north. <laughs> You, Look, uh, I have discovered a secret. <laughs> you, you smell a little bit of a fresh breeze that comes in um, when you unseal it from the wall. Shining your light okay. in, it just looks like another tunnel that leads forward into the darkness. I'm going to take a step into the darkness. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, you walk into the darkness, and uh, at the extent of your vision, you just see tunnel. just keeps going back. You walk until uh, the tunnel behind you is just a blip of light from the lamp. Oh, I'd, I'd from wait, uh, I'd wait Kumo, I guess. Gonna with me. Yeah, I'd wait to see if they come with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so our, our travel options at the moment, we can go back and try to get through that hatch that was magicked, or we can go through the second secret entrance. 
to this crypt or we can go out the main entrance like people would normally come in. Although I feel like that last one is probably the worst option because there's more likely to be guards and things like that that way. So, any other thoughts? Um, I love crypts. Really dis- I love mausoleums. I'm just having a really good day. <laughs> I, uh, I was disappointed we didn't find the hookah in there. I really, I don't know. I thought I was on to something. <laughs> I thought you were too. Have, Thanks, you have proved something really cool about though. Like now that we know about the residuum stone, we know that there actually is a chance that the hookah is somewhere in this castle, right? Which is more than we knew a while ago. Yeah, in the mm-hmm. mausoleum. I, I mean, I. I think we should keep exploring the mausoleum and, you know, make use day even more phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, care about- I care about your day too. <laughs> so which path do you guys want to choose? If, if we um, step down, if I step down behind Xavier, can I cast light on my cup? Is my magic back? Like as soon as we walk into that tunnel? Yeah. As soon as you're in that tunnel, um, yeah, you can cast light and it works. It illuminates your cup. And then I vote okay. we go this and way. And then uh, <laughs> you walk back, I guess, towards the mausoleum and, and put your cup inside. And it stays lit go. inside the mausoleum. Ah. And then you go back in the tunnel. It's like it blocks your casting of the spell. But if the spell is already active mm-hmm. on an object, it doesn't like negate it. It doesn't dispel it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I, so I agree. I think we should go down this tunnel. Now, here's a really important question. Are we going to try to sneak? We were really loud last time, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. <laughs> we will try harder. Yes. Yes. Let's, let's try harder. Okay. okay, I'm going to give you a uh, blessing of the trickster. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll stealth checks, guys. And I would say as you step into this, this new kind of secret cavern entrance, um, you feel a warm wind rushing towards you, um, whereas you guys were in a kind of like marble encased room in the middle of winter. It was frigid in there, even though it's underground. Um, but you're mm. feeling a warmer wind come at you from the direction you're heading. Save your gut. Uh huh. Let's see how Genevieve does. He's apparently still talking. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> Blessing. Mostly I got a thir- 13. <laughs> 13, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll say with those rolls, you guys are getting a little better. You're not as clumsy as you were before, uh, but you're you're still kind of tromping through there, making some noise, a little bit of echoing, um, but more stealthy than before. Um, you make your way until you can see a little bit of light ahead, um, and it looks like the light is coming at an angle from the right, almost like it's shining in from an opening around the corner to the right. You want to proceed? Sure. Did we did we push Softkeen to the front? <laughs> I hope so. I imagine so, unless Hopefully. you want to change up the order. Well, I was yeah, wondering, no, 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 no. you guys like? I'm I'm quite sneaky. I could just like sneak ahead and scout if you like, or should we just walk behind Safkeen as this awesome muscly shield? <laughs> I guess that's that um, should be up to Safkeen. Um, I guess. I know mean, <laughs> Mm -hmm. either way if you want to scout ahead that's fine if you want me to go first that's also fine maybe especially if there's light there might be people so maybe if it's okay with you guys i'm just gonna just i'll just do a quick little just just run ahead and i'll be right back okay you're gonna run ahead Mm -hmm. and i'll I'll douse kumo's light um before i go yeah when you douse the light um you can see that angled beam of um, very bright, what looks like sunlight coming in from the right. Um, and it, it's getting larger as you walk, but you guys have been walking for about 20 minutes now. So it's a pretty long tunnel. Um, maybe another five minutes of walking and you'll be upon it. Um, do you want to go together or keep going forward uh, on your own? Um, if, can I tell that it's sunlight? Yeah, like yeah it looks like sunlight. Okay, yeah, no, it, as soon as I can tell that it's sunlight, I'll, I'll head back and let them know that um, 
it looks I think it leads outside. I'm pretty sure it's sunlight, not torchlight, so it should be safe. Outside. Hmm. We okay. Well go outside. You guys we wanna keep heading in that direction? It. Oops. I moved the map. Hmm. Couldn't we have should to see look. what Yeah, we just need to see where it goes, right? Maybe it's a quick escape. All right, so you guys keep trudging forward. Um, eventually, you get to the corner and kind of peer around. It looks like there's a natural, like, eroded uh, cliff face um, that leads upward. And you can see it leading upward to the sky above. And you've kind of come out of the cliff face, and there's this wall that's shielding you from whatever's on the other side. Um, you're walking along this cliff. Um, with a wall on either side of you, the cliff face on the right, and uh, a wall that kind of ends maybe about uh, 40 to 50 feet up on the left. Um, and as you do, you can see uh, there uh, is a point where the wall on the left begins to recede down from erosion and meet the cliff face. And there's the pathway is kind of hewn into the side of the cliff there. And it kind of tapers off and then ends into the cliff face wall. And beyond that, you can see what looks like a sleepy fishy fishing town. Um, very, uh, uh, like the earth is uh, blackened and the trees don't grow. It looks kind of swampy. And you can see that row of uh, tall um, conifer trees behind it like a wall. This is the town of Sneed, where you guys came in. Yeah. And oh. this cliff is most likely the cliff that's above the lake at the base of the yeah. hill leading up to Hopsmiller Castle. So um. if I put you guys on the Hopsmiller Wine Country map, you are emerging. You are emerging right about here. Oh, I gotcha. Yep. So it looks like there's almost a hidden path in in the cliff side that you wouldn't be able to see unless you were standing on it from the uh from the lake and the town below it probably just looks like a cliff wall mm. Mm. okay well i don't know if that will yield anything to continue on this way i think we should maybe double back and head back into the the crypts yeah but it is a good escape route if we need to run it is Good to know. Hmm. If we need to run away. Yeah. I, I vote we leave it open up there. So if we need to make a hasty escape. And or if someone looks like we broke in, it'll look like we've already left. Ah, true. Mm. Oh, they you won't guys, know Hermione's we're... crying. Uh, yeah, oh, our dog's crying. Let's take a little break. Fred. We'll let her out um, and uh, oh, we'll continue oh back God. inside the mausoleum as you guys head back um, the way you came. Oh, uh, back inside, you yeah. regroup there. So, real quick, Kate, Kate had to go, yeah. so we're probably not going to play. Yeah, anymore. I'll, I'll just uh, shore okay. it up real quick. So, you guys make it your way back into the uh, the mausoleum area. Um, again, your spells won't won't work, but the light stays up until those spells are getting close to end, um, and mm -hmm. you decide to go the other way through the opening. Um, yeah. Do we want to go through the like the main entrance of this? current mausoleum, or do we want to go back into the other mausoleum and try to make our way through the magic porthole trap? Oh. I, well, I guess the, if, if the main entrance isn't magic, we could at least take a look out there. Yeah, we should give it, you know, look what, out. What see if there were like on. a bunch of clips like side by side by side by side all down a hallway? Right. Right. Crowbars, double crowbar. Uh, <laughs> We've got our crowbars say, ready to go. Uh, <laughs> Lindell, uh, or sorry, not Lindell. Xavier walks out through the portal into the uh, the kind of cavern that extends out um, through this like main entrance. It's a little bit nicer carved. Um, looks like it's for foot traffic to come pay and there's to come and pay respects at this tomb. Um, he is able to do his druid craft light. As soon as he walks through the kind of post oh, in the doorway, right, outside the main right. Um, and it looks like it's just back to rock again. It's not this, uh, you know, special infused stone. Um, 
that blocks magic. So um, if you guys want to continue that direction, eventually the cavern does open up a bit wider. Uh, would you like to be stealthy? Yeah. I think so. Okay. If you're going to be stealthy, uh, then I'll, I'll just... I'll just end it there as you oh, kind okay. of open up into a much, much larger cavern. Um, you hear the sounds of um, like wagon wheels kind of moving back and forth. Um, you hear some light chatter and commotion. There's some flickering light in the distance through kind of a, a haze of, uh, you know, a lantern and torch smoke um, and particles in the air in this area. Um, but you do smell the very strong scent of fine alcohol as you're presented. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. This massive underground cavern. Full of mead? Oh. Oh. You guys are way at the bottom of it. Bottom. Oh, okay. You just kind of peek your way around the corner um, as it opens up into this very large area. You can see there's a, a hole with cranes that are lowering things down into the hole. Um, it looks like there's a mine cart uh, to the left with a, a railroad track leading into another tunnel. Um, and there's these two uh, structures built underneath the ground in this cavern um, with a fence, um, two buildings. Um, with various barrels um, uh, kind of lined around the, the first one. Um, the second one looks a little bit uh, darker, um, no windows on the outside. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what this building is for. And all the way across the cavern on the other side is a very ornate door um, hewn into the rock with some steps leading up. Uh, but what you do notice is that everyone down here hustling back and forth seems to be children. Oh. Ooh. Lindell, you would know as a halfling that these are not halfling. These are what looks like human children. Oh All toiling mm -hmm. and working, operating the cranes and the mm -hmm. minecart and uh, rolling wagons with barrels on them back and forth. Oh my gosh. All barefoot. This is horrible. And that's where we end. Yep, oh yep. no! Wow. What are your I don't know. What are your dogs doing crazy this about? It just got dark. I thought we were just going to be like, ah, oh, now you oh, find, no. like, I don't know, an ancient red dragon or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Child labor. Oh, no. And a mine. <laughs> I, initially, when I saw the map, I thought that, like, these were cranes that were, like, lowering down to, like, a river that where they would, like, set the boats out. But now I'm not so sure. It's it's hard to tell, what but from from the angle about? and the direction that you traveled, um, it, it does seem like you guys are pretty high up off the surface of the lake, um, and this could be lowering down into a subterranean cavern on the water. Oh, okay. Subterranean cavern. Um, but they are definitely lowering um, barrels and crates full uh, full of like glass bottles and jars. And ceramic wow, that's uh, crazy. jars. Some of the similar stuff you saw in the gift shop up above, but uh, much larger quantities. Mm -hmm. You see some really large barrels off to the side as well, um, near the mining operation, uh, that look like uh, big brewer's barrels. Filled with hundreds, thousands of, of gallons mm -hmm. of uh, liters. Sorry. <laughs> thousands of liters of... Uh, you know, alcohol. So, the hot so my parents, are evil. They're really oh, evil. I'm so glad Peter. she's dead. <laughs> Ding dong, <laughs> witch is dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, parents, my parents brought their yeah. vehicle out here for us to use, yeah. and my dogs are barking at that vehicle as if my parents are here. Because they're stupid. <laughs> 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 so... <laughs> <laughs> They've just realized it's parked outside. Be sweet. Oh yeah, they're real sweet. <laughs> All right. So next time we'll see what short expectations does when confronted with child labor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. Kill every hops miller we see. Yep. All right. <laughs>
but maybe not. Okay. Maybe not Thanks, guys. That's fun. What's that? Maybe not JJ because she seems Which nice. Is- Oh, JL up up top. JL, yeah. At the, at the metery. Yeah. Oh, okay. I bet she else. knows. I bet she's in on it. I'm gonna burn them all. All right. I love you guys. I love you guys. Have a good week. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you see too. ya. Bye.